Hello, hello everyone. It's Stray Faye here with another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. All right, we just beat uh, the Forbidden Woods dungeon. Uh, the game spat us out <laughs> to the entrance of Forest Haven, which is convenient. Uh, we were able to get Ferrari's Pearl from the Great Deku Tree, so we just got to talk to the King of Red Lions and see where he wants us to go next. Uh, as of now, though, oh, it looks like it's already marked on my map. We have to go northwest. Uh, as of now, though, most of the Great Sea is going to be open to us. So you might want to stock up on some other goodies. Uh, you might want to fill up on uh, your bait bag. Uh, if we have, well, if we can buy one extra. Or we should probably buy a hoi pair. <laughs> I could probably drop this on the floor and just buy another bait. It should be fine. Um, because we were going to be talking to a lot of the fishmen, and... Uh, yeah, we're going to need a lot of bait to, to fill out our map at this point. Let me talk to Beetle before he leaves. The post box is also dancing. Uh, that... We always get some free mail after after Forest Haven. Let's buy a white pair. Thank you. Thank you. I have 12 points saved up. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Okay, let's see what's in this post box. Who sent me a letter at this point? Good morning! Letters for Link! We have one letter! Here's your letter! Spits it out. Dear Link, if you are reading this letter, it can only mean you have peeked into one of our many post boxes. I am indebted to you. I am very sorry I let you leave without thanking you. Please accept my heartfelt apology along with my thanks. We cannot do much to help you, but we can at least do this. If we get any letters or parcels for you, we will deliver them to a post box near you. If you see any wiggling post boxes, please look inside them. We already have ex experience with that, because we've already done some side quests that involve the post box. I suppose you have a long way to go before your perilous journey is done. I've included a gift for you with my letter and hope that it might help you. Please accept the small token. I look forward to the day that we meet again. May your for may fortune fill your wings from Komali's father. Okay, cool. The Rito chieftain sent us sent us a piece of heart after after helping him out. Oh yeah, this will this will always be in the post box after we beat Forest Haven. We just need one more to fill up our fill up another container. All right, King of Red Lions. Now what? So this place too has been attacked by Ganon. Could he already be regaining his power? Link, you must get to the remaining pearl. It lies in a place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. All right, it's already on our map, so he just wants us to go northwest before we leave. Let us also go to the Nintendo Gallery. Let us empty out our camera roll, especially of the the precious picto box of the of the boss that we took. Up, up, up we go. Alright. I did give him some some pictures. Okay, he will finish his work by tomorrow. Uh, but he'll still let me show him more. So I will show you more. Alright, let's show you Makar. Take a quick quick pic of him before he left the dungeon. I like almost fill up. I'll almost fill up uh, the Forest Haven room. We got all the Koroks in like one go. There's Kali Demos. I definitely want to get the boss picture out of the way. Here's a picture of a Moblin with a funny face, although he's not centered in the picture. Here's a Mothra? Or Mothula? I think it's Moth- Mothula. <laughs> not, not Mothra, not the, God not the Godzilla monster. <laughs> A distant relative, maybe. Here is the morph. The baby moth. Baby moths are a little bit weird. <laughs> they're like... They're, they're kind of like caterpillars, but they look, they look a little more maggoty. Here's a little fairy I took a picture of, too. That one's not... 
a little bit hard in difficulty. It's just, it's just tiny. <laughs> the bottom of a chew. Ah, huh. Hmm. It's quite an inspiring motif. Hurrah, I'm filled with inspiration. Alright, go sculpt that goo. I only need to take a picture of one of the chews, though. He'll sculpt all the variants, and here's Olivia. Because <laughs> Olivia was... I a little bit out of the way, and I ran out of space on my camera. There you go. Alrighty, so a lot of work on that, and we'll proceed to the next area. Yeah. What? Missed. Let me get on your back, sir. Let's check out the map. So we want to go. We want to go northwest. Uh, I think we'll we'll hit up some locations like along the way. Uh, but yeah, if we wanted, we can explore more places. I'm just, just trying to travel in, in a as direct line as I can. <laughs> okay, I'll skip Bomb Island. I think this is actually a private oasis. We we actually have the Cabana deed. We got it early. We can we can actually head in here. If we wanted to, although we can't really complete everything that's that's in there yet until we get another dungeon item, so yeah, not gonna not, not gonna play around in there yet. Yeah. Oi, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Techie, you want to chart and information about this island? Let's start by opening up your sea chart. Oh, yeah, private oasis. Technically linked property. So tell me, small fry, have you heard of the golden set of triumph forks? It's right there, I tell you. The art, the article, genuine. In in that house. If you want, you better go in there and scour the place from floor to ceiling. All right, we gotta find those triumph forks. That is kind of a that is kind of a big hint, but we will end up going going there later. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, that's my policy, Fry. Alright, and he's off. Uh, could probably collect some rupees on here. Alright, we also got a treasure chart. <laughs> we got some treasure charts that actually lead to rupees here. I could probably collect this later. Treasure chart one, we found that in... Both of these in the dungeon. Actually, I'm gonna take a picture of you. Stop. Where is he? This count. Okay, good. This is old man Ho Ho. He says Ho a lot. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, this is a nice, a nice little, little private island here. Some more bait on my bar. Make sure I have my map out so I know where I'm going. Hello, what are you doing here? <laughs> one, one flying seagull. No, two, two flying seagulls. Wait, I see more seagulls. Three, four, five. Now six. No, no, seven seagulls. Eight. This is madness. Eight seagulls. Is that it. I can see what he's looking at over there. Where are the seagulls? You lie, where are they? Maybe maybe they need to load in the screen. This is a hint to go in that direction though, and we might we might find something. There, we can also check around here. Some rupees. Probably nothing there's nothing too dramatic underneath this house, but Five whopping rupees. I do want to fill up my wallet uh, to max because there is going to be something that we need to purchase with all of our rupees. 500 rupees. Okay, and I can't really go up there until I have another item. 
And here's a familiar face over here. Rona, what happened here? The tree is withering. I do technically have the item I need to revive this thing, but uh, to uh, actually revive this tree, you need to you need to splash them all in one go. Hello, swordsman. Haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? I just saw you. <laughs> like, it hasn't even been a day. I've come here to plant the Greek Deku tree seed. But look! Usually the forest tree sprouts quite vigorously wherever you plant them, but for some reason this one is withered. I'd be willing to bet that the trees my fellow Koroks have planted are withering as well. Seems that when one tree fails to grow from its seeds, all of the forest trees from that year's seeds wither and fail to grow tall and mighty. What are we to do? If we're not able to nurse these trees to health, the forest will never spread, and the great Deku tree will slowly wither and die. Maybe if you could sprinkle the water from the forest haven on the tree, maybe then the sapling would be saved. That water is the wellspring of the great Deku tree's life force. Swordsman, could you go to the forest haven and get some of the water that flows around the great Deku tree? Could you get some and sprinkle it on this poor forest tree? Please? Please help me? Yeah, I, I mean, I could help him. <laughs> I could help him, but... Yeah, like, I, I, you need to help all eight at once. Or all of the little, little Koroks at once. So it's just sprinkling water on one and then coming back to do the rest of them isn't gonna work out so much. Alright, so let's go where he's pointed at. I think this is... I'll aim my boat this way. Okay, now I see the seagulls. The cyclone is blocking them. Alright, what was... What was old man Ho-Oh? Getting all upset about. Uh... Okay. <laughs> there we go, there is a... Big Octo! Nice thing is... Rather ominous. It's not too hard to kill, though. We have a boomerang, so we can actually we have something that we can hurt this thing with. Other than that, we could use we can use our bombs if we get it. Although accuracy is kind of difficult using bombs, also arrows. Uh, but one important thing is to make sure we take a picture of this big octorok. Uh, before you destroy it, because if you destroy all of them, I think there's six. Uh, if you destroy all of them, you won't get a chance to get a picture of them. They are... They are a limited in number monster. I think I have to whack these things like once or twice with the boomerang, and then... And then it dies. Okay, one more hit. I don't want it to eat us. Do not eat us, sir! Yeah, we defeated it, and we got its picture, so... Just have to remember to go back to the forest haven and drop that off. And for that, we get a little treasure for that. Some of these are optional treasures, um, however, some of them also give you a piece of heart, and you also get a very nice... ...magic meter award from a different one. I went too far. Here we go. This one... We'll be able to- we'll be able to use this reward right away, though. I've been- I've been looking for money! So it gives you a hundred rupees for- for your first one. Okay, we- our wallet is almost full, so we will continue... Let's go continue northwest. Um, we can't do anything on the island to the northwest, but there is a submarine. That we want to keep our eye out for. We can do something in there. And we might want to get the map for this island while we're here as well. Oh, there's a lookout tower. I think that's. I see the submarine too with a raft around it. I think. I think we need. Yeah, I don't think I can do that one yet until I get bombs. 
But that lookout tower is pretty much optional. It doesn't give you anything, anything special. I think it gives you like, I think it gives you like a skull necklace or something. I got some rupees. Yeah, 50 rupees. Swell. Uh, where is the fish man? Fish man. Usually he's near the island itself. Look out for his little splashy self. Is that you? Yes, it is. Hello, sir. I have food. Give me the map data. Boy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take you want chart and information about this island. Alright, let's open up our seat chart. Just stab it with your brush. Six eye reef. These are part of many different eyed reefs. Uh, once we get bombs, we'll actually be able to conquer these. Uh, we'll probably we'll probably go after these like like maybe a little bit more like way after we get bombs. But anyway, they got a shop over there on Windfall Island. A nice outdoor shop. Did you know that, Small Fry? And in that shop, they've got this really fine safe that looks to be brimming full of riches. And they just leave it sitting outside day and night. I tell you, one of these days that thing is gonna get hauled off by a thief. Mark my words, Fry. Of course, if I were to find a thief in the act of thieving, I'd stop the perpetrator right there and catch the rat red-handed. I'm sure if I did, the owner of that shop would be would thank me. Yeah, he'd be happy. That'd be the honest thing to do. And that's all the info I got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw out some more bait. Alright, I think we've seen that safe. It's like in Zunari's... Zunari's shop. Uh, there'll be a side quest involved with that. Alright, I'll skip that lookout platform. I might go back for it later once I get... Once I get bombs. But yeah, there's some Bokoblins there and... Some cannons that we have to destroy. Hey, like Sea Octorok! I already took a picture of your river... Your river variant, so I don't need a picture of you. I think I found a submarine, though. I will take a picture. I surprisingly I have not taken a picture yet of a Pokeblin. Big ol' yawn. Really? That's not good enough? Okay, I don't even have its head, but <laughs> I'll take it. That would have been infuriating if I didn't have that good stamp on it. I would have like turned that in. Nintendo gallery guy would have been like, nope, I I don't see the subject. I don't know what you're talking about. Yep. Got a moblin. They might want to. <laughs> Steal your skull necklace just to make sure I get it. Oh, another shoe. There's another one. Guess it can't be that easy. They're just killing one enemy. Can I throw this? <laughs> kind of hard to use this with the barrels in the way. I think that's the point of having all the barrels, or I'll just toss it. <laughs> uh, let me get my grappling hook. <laughs> I like how devastated he is. Took his jewelry. Took his fine jewels. How could I? Another one? Well, I could use skull necklaces. Oh god! <laughs> I like a yellow one! <laughs> hit it! Do it! Smack it! Don't hit me though. No. It's not gonna, it's not gonna electrocute himself. Okay, enough fooling around. <laughs> no, you're not dead yet. That three, three is the magic number. Yep. Roop. 
rupees! All right, we already have maxed. We already maxed out our rupees. Cool. Are more juice in here? Seem to be. Oh god, <laughs> there's a surprise in every barrel. <laughs> Get up. Okay. Just lots lots of little annoyances in there. But in any way, once we defeat the three moblins, we'll gain access to this chest. And inside is a piece of heart. That's the fourth piece completing another heart container. Cool, we got another heart. And lots of health now. Maybe we can maybe we can switch the game to hero mode. More of you. Take some friends with me. I shall I'll, I shall raise them. Call them George. Okie doke. Now we need to alter our course. Alter our course west. In I think this is this west. Weast. Another. It looks like another reef. <laughs> no, we got picture. They can take us. Uh, oh dear. Uh. Okay. Luckily, that doesn't. This will knock me out of the boat. Okay, there. I just want- I just want to take a picture of you! Don't kill me! I don't think I need to take a picture of the cannons. There's some, uh, ship cannon monsters. There we go, feed the fish man. Boy, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. You want to chart in information on this island. Let's start by opening up your sea chart. We got Cyclops Reef. Seen those weird rings of light that appear on the seas at night, haven't you? Well, those things are a sure sign that there's treasure in the deeps, Fry. But let me tell you, there's some lights that don't always shine. Yeah, those- these special ones that shine like crazy, but only when you open a treasure chart. Yeah, those are the ones that have like a big beam of light, and that's usually either a heart piece or 200 rupees. <laughs> they say that those mark the spots where the greatest treasures are hidden. I mean, the regular ones offer 50 rupees, that's pretty generous as is. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. Okay. Let's head west. There's a lot of these. There's a lot of those little rings of light too at night around this reef. You can get a lot of money by just following the breadcrumbs. Uh, but we'll continue on our way. We need to go west. I think if I go to this lookout platform, it's like a golden feather. I don't think I actually need to kill the cannons to get that golden feather, but uh, we'll come back. Get back bleh, come back again later. We'll be able to destroy everything for sure. All right, we are almost to our actual destination. Start of a new day. Do, do, do. There is an ominous cloud here, though. Right. Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. This place looks like it's been ripped up. What is the meaning of this? The island, it is... We are too late, um... <laughs> King of Red Lions, are you supposed to be in the water that deep? <laughs> We've sunk! <laughs> We've been cast away. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, hello. Who's- who dis? One of the Rito. It's... Quill, I think. It's 
So you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not. Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He's in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born. On Outset. Uh-oh. Yet, even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in? I must apologize, Link. I thought if any would know, would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told him this tale without so much as a thought of the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. Uh, <laughs> are they after the pearl too? I guess they're pirates, a pearl would equate treasure. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. Probably trying to find a way to get into the cave and the clue is on Windfall Island. <laughs> If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you better search the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Blue must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. It wasn't always cursed though, right? I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I've told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Right, but if this island got destroyed because Jaboon was here and he went to Outset, wouldn't that mean Danger is now setting its eyes on Outset as well? So our hometown is not safe. So Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we first go to Windfall and search for them there? Not even first. Take a look around the island. Uh, there is a beetle ship. There's also a raft here that's supposed to have... A merchant? Okay, there. He's there. If he's not there, um, they recommend going into Beetle's shop ship to get him to spawn. Uh, let's take a picture of him. He is different than the one that's on Bomb Island. There we go. Let's see. And we can trade... We can trade the, the sea flower for another goodie. If you have the town flower, he'll actually give the sea flower, and then you can trade the sea flower to get a completely different item from him. Hello. <clears throat> I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes, I'm just a cheery fellow who bobs between the waves in search of all manner of rare items. Cracked and pristine, wild and woolly. I came from distant lands because I read there was treasure of great worth on this island, but I can't find a thing. Thought perhaps my fate would cross with that most mystic of rare items, the fabled shop guru statue. But it seems as though I'm off the mark yet again. By the by, for some reason, looking at that delivery bag of yours gives me the sneaking suspicion it might have some rare treasures hidden in its depths. If you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it to me? Anything at all. This knapsack I'm lugging around is stuffed full of all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you've got and I'll show you what I'll trade for it. Alright, so I got the sea flower. Ah, that's a sea flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in trading for this exotic flower? Sure. Most worthy. Then my fee will be... Oh, I'll give you a huge deal on this. 25 rupees will do just fine. It's a deal. Thanks. That settles things. I'll give you your item as I promised. Hold out both hands. You got an exotic flower. It's a refreshing flower that blossoms in the tropical regions to the south. Find a place to put it. 
Uh, choose your delivery. Okay, we already know where to decorate, how to decorate things. So by trading your goods for my goods, we formed a mer merchant's oath. As such, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to Windfall Island Shop. How do you ask? Why, my good pal, the postman will take it there for me, so it'll likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall and see for yourself. Thanks again. Cool. Also, a little secret. Um, you can actually use your deck to leave. Don't, don't show it to him. I mean, what do you mean? I could totally sell this at a shop. <laughs> Get a little bit further back. This allows me to fly. You can blow off his hat and it's a Goron underneath there. Uh, hiding his identity for some reason. But yeah, there, there are Gorons in this game. <laughs> Uh, kind of scary to think, though, because, I mean, theoretically, they would supposed to be inhabiting a uh, dragon roost, because dragon roost is supposed to be, uh, supposed to be, like, Death Mountain. Like, that's where all, like, the bomb flowers are and, and whatnot, and where Vivagia lived, or Valu in this game. I'm guessing Valu is a descendant of Volvagia, but I guess the Gorons got pushed out of their home and now they're just traveling merchants. Uh, but being a Goron on the sea seems oddly terrifying, because... Like, as we know, like in Minjora's Mask, if you played as the Goron, um, if you fell in the water, you'd, you'd automatically just void out. You'd just, you'd just die. Well, not like die-die, but you'd be- you'd void out and you'd be forced to... Yeah, you'd, be, you'd, be, you'd be forced to, like, go back to, like, the nearest checkpoint. Uh, so yeah, just the fact that any Goron could take a tumble off their raft. And that would, that would be the end of it. They would sink like a rock to the bottom of the ocean. Although, it might not mean death for the Gorons. Because we've seen in Twilight Princess, there was, there was a Goron just stuck in a rock underneath like Zora's domain and he was fine. He, he didn't drown. Uh, but then that also begs the question, um, if they don't drown, if they fall in the water, uh, could there be like a whole civilization of Gorons just like underneath this ocean? That's kind of scary and neat to think about. I like we got another Korok here. Hi buddy. Hello swordsman, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> huh? Say the forest trees my fellow Koroks have planted are withering? That's true! As you can see, the forest tree I planted is doing the same. Can't help but think that this too is the result of Ganondorf's evil plot. Could it be? Regardless, in order to bring the life back to this poor withered sapling, I will certainly need forest water. Swordsman, could you please go to the forest haven and bring back some of the water that flows around the Greek Drecky tree? Could you sprinkle it on the street? Maybe later. Please, I beg of you. <laughs> no. I'll do it later. Uh, first, let me change the wind direction. Uh, do I stick? There we go. Just go to the right, please. Uh, let's face it. Northwest. There is... Might have seen it in one of the cutscene angles, but there is a chest on like a little cliff outcropping here. Let me go grab that. And inside... We got a piece of heart! Collect four of these to complete a new heart container. Yeah. And other than that, I think that is all we can do at this island. But yeah, very terrifying to think. Like, what happened here? This... Uh... There are... There used to be people here, though. Like, you could see there's like a bunch of little rafts. I'm guessing this is... Being called Great Fish Isle, it was probably like a fisherman town. Um, if we look at Rito Island, there is a course to deliver mail to this island. So yeah, this was inhabited by people fairly recently. Um, I it makes you wonder, like, what happened? What happened to all the people that lived here? <laughs> like, did they get out safely or no? There hasn't really been any news. Of like people saying like, "Hey, I used to hail from from Great Fish Isle, uh, but yeah, I got wrecked." <laughs> like 
it's very possible that there used to be a lot of people here that just that just died in a great tragedy here. Let's go back to my boat. I think we can head a course north. Get something nice there. And then uh, head to Windfall and see what the heck the pirates are doing. Let's check out Beetle's shop. Can I get up here? I can buy some more bait. No? He only has a potion. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> My bottles are all full of, like, quest items. I mean, if I need to buy anything, there's, there's a ton of uh, salvageable rupees here, so... Good place to spend your money. Right, let's go north. We'll also probably take out some more bait, because we're going to be filling out more of our map. Do, 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 do. Oh, the music's all scary. It's also endless night. If you, if you notice. You probably wouldn't notice if you've been sailing for quite a while. You're like, why is why is it rainy? Why is the music ominous? And like, why is it not turning back into day? Why is it a full moon? Why is it anything? Oh, we got a bunch of lookout towers there. Um, I don't need to stop there. But it looks like you need your deco leaf to like get across there. Let's see, what's on that? I don't remember what's on there. Hmm, let's okay. say... There's actually orange rupee on those lookout platforms, so maybe I'll, I'll actually leave that for when I actually need money. Oh, hey, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take you want chart and information about this island. Let's start by opening up your sea chart. I forgot to... Eh, I could probably go back and get the fish man. Uh, next time I go to Great Fish Island. Wonder how long it's been since the light in Windfall Lighthouse went dark. It was quite a grand sight, I tell you. The way that ray of light shone out like a shaft of gold through the cold darkness. I used to gaze at it with dear Gillian. Oh. Did you now? Gil <laughs> you think Gillian was another fish, but Gillian is actually the, the lady inside the cafe, so... Did they know each other? <laughs> did, they, did they talk to each other? <laughs> anyway, I bet if someone could shoot a powerful spark into the top of that lighthouse, it'd light up again. Of course, that's just my intuition talking. Then again, you should never doubt a fish's intuition, small fry. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, fry. Can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. Alright, let's head into this guy's shop ship. Uh, this is actually a special beetle shop. His... <laughs> his, his little boat is covered in, in a purple curtain. Uh, but that's not why he's special. He has a helmet on. Hi! Oh, a fine welcome to you, young person, that I've never seen before! Oh. <laughs> You're so lucky to meet me at this time. This shop will close in just seven more days, I'm, and I'm having a clearance sale. Uh, this might make you make you panic, like, oh no, seven days, and like I won't be able to get these fabulous items. Uh, but yeah, so he has a bottle, he has a piece of heart, and he has a treasure chart. Uh, I think now we can afford the bottle, but I think the piece of heart and the treasure chart are worth over nine hundred rupees. So we need a wallet upgrade before we can we can nab them. Uh, but yeah, he says seven days. Uh, but. It is an endless night right now, so like, technically seven days will never pass. Um, and then if seven days actually do el elapse, um, he'll just change- he'll change the curtain <laughs> on his shop and you'll have a grand reopening sale. So there's no- there's no possible way to even miss these items. Just makes you panic though and like, think you need to buy them right away. This empty bottle is a mere 500 rupees! Buy it, buy it, buy it, buy, 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 buy! Oh, thank you so much! You're happy, I'm happy, we're all happy. Alright, and yeah, if I want that 950. <laughs> I do want it, but my wallet's not even big enough. Bye! Bye! Well, there... There is a lot of money back on Great Fish Isle. Uh, so I'll probably head back there and, like, collect all those rupees and, like, head back to the ship to... To get all... Everything. <laughs> to get everything that's there. I can also go to the lookout platform, too. 
uh, to get those hundred rupees on there as well. I could probably backtrack for that though. Let's see. Let's see how much I can fill my wallet before I get before I get a wallet upgrade. Uh, yeah, it's just they're just so close to the shop. Uh, it's just a convenient place though. This is north. Oh my God. I gotta like open up my map to like be sure. <laughs> Go a little bit north. Actually, I think I want to go. Not there. Turn around. Eh. Let's go. I don't want to hit the cyclone either, because that's gonna take me to a weird place. I do need to. I do need to take a picture of what's in the cyclone, but yeah, first, let's let's go east. There's some people I want to take a picture of there. And then we can go to Windfall. music it also like kind of reminds me of like Minna's lament it just it just songs to kind of make you panic and and be in a rush Is this ooh uh d -d 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 -d. these are yorgs I think they're they're kind of kind of scary uh they might knock me out of my boat okay that's good enough go. I need, I need a picture of one of those guys. Like, I think I practically got, got all the sea life monsters. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, we got a thing in a post box. There we go. Let's get some more map data. Boy, okay. small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want to chart in information about this island. Let's start by opening up your sea chart. Aye aye there, Captain. Alright, got Tingle Island. Oh boy. An island full of tingles, is it? Let me tell you a little something about this island over there, Small Fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. Still dresses like a little kid. That is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. Goes to show that you can't judge a person on appearance only, Fry. Of course, the thing about this Tingle guy is that when it comes to to pay for his deciphering fee, you better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. That's a hint. And that's all the info I've got to offer. Although, I think in the Wii U version, you don't need a wallet upgrade, actually. Because the wallet is upgraded to 500 versus 200, so like you're good. We still want the wallet upgrade, though. <laughs> Gotta hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait. Go fighting evil in an empty stomach. Alright. This actually might be... a letter from Tingle. <laughs> oh, look. I gotta chew here. Uh, let me just make sure... I get the chew jelly off you. Uh, a lot better to kill it with my boomerang, but... The rupees. The way to the northern fairy island is to the north. Increase your fortune! Okay, that's a hint in case, in case you need better fortune or aka deeper pockets. Good evening! Letters for Link! We have one letter! Here's your letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crest and return to me from Orca. Oh, he actually gave me some mail. Hey, he gave me a prezi! He gave me 20 rupees. Thank you, Orca. That's actually nice. <laughs> Usually when you get mail delivered, the post... There's like postage. Look at this. Got a big old totem here. And... What's going on here? I want to know. 
Heave ho! Ugh, this is heavy. This is just between you and me. This guy has another brother. That guy could just come and spin this thing instead of me. Heave ho! Uh, I think this guy, this tingle, I think, I wanna say this like, this guy's name. I wanna say ankle, there's ankle and knuckle, uh, but the guy in white is called David Jr. He's, he's not actually a tingle relative. He's, he just, he just got like kidnapped and like forced to work here. Um, you have a tingle bottle, do you not? Uh, no, if you're not really a fan of it, do not worry about such things. The tingle bottle was sort of complicated, I suppose. No, no, don't go out of your way. No, really. I mean, it's quite amusing, the tingle bottle. I mean, no, really. I would not expect you to. <laughs> Are you trying to make me curious about something? Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit me at Tingle Tower again, where wonderful fairy magic makes the place spin and spin. Sure. Fairy magic makes it spin. <laughs> this is like pointless slave labor here. They don't get paid for this. They just they just spin the tower and for what? For nothing. Just make a tingle head spin, spin at the top. Oh god, don't jump down yet. Don't do it, Link. Alright, so we got pictures of all the tingles. There is another brother, though. Um, and he'll pop up once we get some secret items, though. Okay, so where are we off to now? Uh, we should probably finish... Or just head over to Windfall. There's actually something to the north. Uh, I want to say, where is it? Hard to see because it's okay. There it is. There's the seagulls. <laughs> like kind of hard to see because it's dark, but here we go. We got another. Giant Octo! I like how all the Octos, they have different number of eyes to like denote difficulty, so... <laughs> I gotta like, attack it right away. Die, die! The Kraken. This would be like, doom for sailors. This, this thing... Destroy... And eat you. Every time you like read about like a Kraken attack in like a book or like see it in a movie, it's like, oh my god, like you just see all the crew just dying. Like, uh, it's like a hopeless situation. You're surrounded by water. You just watch this creature like destroy the only thing that's that's keeping you afloat in a desolate sea. Uh, we're getting really close to this thing. I get eaten. Uh, uh hurry up. <laughs> Let me like fancy maneuvers with this boomerang. Is that just one more? Not one more. Hi, very close. Oh. Uh, that was that was a close one. It was like one more ring. One more ring around and we would have got eaten. Go collect that treasure. Ugh. Here. I hear it, it's like super loud. <laughs> I have to do the thing where I have to like kind of back away a bit. There we go. I'm just realign myself. Up. Oh. oh my god! Like I floated too far away.
Did not be this hard. There we go. <laughs> inch, inch my way there eventually. Yeah, that big octo. This chest gives us a piece of heart collected. A total of two pieces. Get two more to complete another heart container. All right. Uh, now let's head. Let her butt over to Windfall. And that will give us. That'll give us something. Uh, something nice. Well, actually, will help us explore more of the ocean. It still has not turned into day. I probably should stop hopping. <laughs> hopping probably makes time go slower. Oh, you see the pirate ship is here. sail right next to it. It's just as the postman told us. The pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing attention to the t of the townsfolk. I do not know what they are researching, but they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem. I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Link, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without them finding out about you. Okay. But we will do that... We'll do that in the next episode. <laughs> Okie doke. Oh yeah, I'll sneak. We'll... I don't know. I guess we all might have to sneak aboard the pirate ship, cause uh, or find out what they're doing on the island. I think they are doing something on the island, and then. But yeah, while they're while they're occupied, we're gonna have to do a little bit of uh, thievery. <laughs> Okay, anyway, <laughs> hope you guys are having a fun and relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.